sono M. Questa sera sono ritornata a Belluno, località Satmus Spinarolo per Electro Birthday. Dopo lo straordinario successo di Extreme Bridge Festival, Belluno la notte festeggerà l'ottavo compleanno con l'uomo che domina le classifiche della musica techno. DJ J. Lumen! Hi guys, I'm here with J. Lumen. Hi J, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are everybody? Hi. What do you think about the location? Well, the location is something special, I think, so I was so surprised how is it exactly, but the guys just said me it's an old factory or something like this. It's a really special one, so I like it. It's very beautiful. Anyway, you are Hungarian. From which city? I'm from Budapest, exactly. It's the capital city of Hungary. And where do you live? In Budapest. How is it to live there? I really like it. The city is beautiful. Maybe, have you ever been there before? No? Never. Well, it's a really nice city, so you have to see that, definitely. It's, it's really nice, nice buildings, nice people lighting, so nice area. I love it. And how is the party there? Yeah, the party scene is really strong in Hungary, and not only in, uh, in Budapest, in all, all around in Hungary, in the uh, countryside as well, so we are so lucky about the parties, definitely. So, Jay, you started playing classic music, violin? Yeah. So when do you, do you understand to move on underground music? Well, it was a big change, but, uh, but not for me, because when, I, when the real electro music, music was just coming, uh, just like a bomb, I was, uh, I really falling, I was falling in love, definitely, for this kind of music. And I was sure that I have to do something in this scene. So it was not a surprise for me, because, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of music, what you learn and your practice and, and, and what you play. It doesn't matter. The music is music. There is good music in classic music as well and there is good music in electronic music as well. So that's why it's not a big difference between that. So where you inspired from uh, other artists? Well, uh, honestly, it's not coming from the DJs. A lot of, uh, a lot of music inspired me, just like, I don't know, classic music as I mentioned before. Uh, some classic uh, New Age stars, just like uh, Jean-Michel Char or Vangelis. And I really like the... Oh, I can hear it. So I, <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. So, and I really like the, the original motion picture scores from nowadays, just like John Williams, Alan Silvestri, James Horner, and all these uh, classic uh, music composer guys from the original motion picture mo pictures, you know, the movies. So, and on the other hand, I'm listening a lot of different sounds, just like alternative pop, rock, and, and uh, everything, all kind of music. So, all kind of music is an inspire me, you know? Because, you know, because I, I love all kind of music, that's why. So, it's, I cannot tell more about that, yeah. Jay, I know that in 2012, you have toured for 39 of 52 weeks. So what about 2030? What about this year? How is it gone? Well, I, I feel it better and better the year by year, I'm sure, because, for example, in this year, I had more than two events in a week, always, week by week. So I think I'm touring uh, 52, year, 52 weeks from 52 yeah. weeks. So week by week, I'm on tour. Uh, for example, in the festival season, I have 12, 15 events in a month and in a normal season, I mean out of the festival season, around 8, 10 events in a month, so I have a lot of dates because that's why I'm so lucky because I'm really, really busy. You are not lucky, you are talented and you have had the possibility to play music all over the world in different clubs, in different festivals, so which is the best underground festival in the world? Well, thank you very much. Well, I really love my life, I have to tell you. I really love it. So, and which is the best So, festival? So, yeah, it's uh, not an easy question because, uh, well, I really love the uh, different cultures always. So I don't, uh, don't concentrate only for one festival that this is the best. But, for example, I really love to play in South America because it's a really special area. For example, 
in Mexico you can find really, really good uh, parties and festivals. For example, one of my best was the Solte Festival in Mexico. But uh, we have some really good festivals in Hungary as well. Called Balaton Sound or Sigat Festival, which is so famous in Europe as well. And uh, for example, one of my best was in, in uh, the Netherlands, the Free Your Mind Festival. So I cannot say only one. So what about Italy? Italy. Normally, I have to say, I don't play a lot in Italy. Only two, three times before, so I don't know. And this was only, uh, these were only club events. So I will see, I will see now. So what are you working at the moment? Well, I have some projects for the future, some, some top secret projects, yeah. Uh, I have a special collaboration for the future, but I am working on with, some, with one of my friends who is a good techno DJ, but his name is top secret yet. Okay. But I will let you know so soon. And I have some uh, upcoming releases for the future as well. For example, the next one will be on 100% Pure. And uh, after that, an Octopus Recordings. And I'm working on another EP for Off Recordings as well, which is a DP one. So I have some Deep House and tech Techno tunes for the future. And I'm so lucky because nowadays I have three releases on the, on the top chart of Beatport. So I'm so happy with that. Yeah. I'm in the top 10, so. You are the top than always. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luckily, luckily. So yeah. thanks for uh, thanks for everybody. Jay, thank you so much. This is Miss Matilda Block. Thank you again for this interview. Have a nice time here in Italy. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, hello, thank you. Blog, Electro Bird.